Hey everybody, how you doing? It's a retired comic here, uh, and I am so excited that I am walking without a limp uh, because I have my, uh, I ha I'm about three weeks in to life with my new good knee. Now, there's a downside to that. <laughs> my uh, new good knee is my old bad knee. Uh, my, I've been favoring, let me get this right. So it's my left knee that is killing me now. So it was my left knee that I favored because it was uh, my good knee. And I don't know, see, look at that. I gotta step down steps like a old man. So my left knee is now killing me and my right knee suddenly seems like it's better. Isn't that funny how when you experience uh, pain, you also can experience newfound joy at the same time. Not that pain's a good thing, but uh, it puts things in perspective, that's for sure. Out here trying to do some catch up. It's been raining forever. Uh, today is the best day we've had in a long time, and uh, I, I, I really can't cut the grass because it's too wet still, so I'll have to wait until later. And uh, But even that I'm putting in perspective because if it wasn't for that rain, I wouldn't appreciate how beautiful today is. I mean, I'd appreciate it, but I can really um, put it in better perspective. So this has been a weird week for me. Um, it's been an even weirder week for other people in my life. So I've been a retired comic since 1986, and now I'm doing comedy again. So there's a there's a message for you. And I, I'm at that age where everybody, you've heard me say this before, everybody always asks me when I'm going to retire. And this past week was uh, really amazing. I, I did a, um, a health fair where I was set up at a booth talking about wellness programs and what have you. And it was local here uh, it, in my, you know, where I've lived for the last 30 years. And people that I used to work with were coming up to me and we had like a little, you know, reunion. And it was amazing to see how much I meant to them. And I already knew how much they had meant to me over those years. But the first question they're all asking is, you know, when are you going to retire? Some of them are retired. And I feel like I'm semi-retired because I, I'm enjoying what I'm doing in the sense that I think it's meaningful. And I keep going down this path of, uh, you don't just quit things. You, you, you know, life goes on. And in the last, uh, two or three weeks while I've been working on my, <laughs> there I go again, up is no problem. You know, I go to the gym, uh, well, I don't go to the gym, but when I go to the gym, I do one of those Stairmaster things where the stairs are rolling at you and you have to climb them. And I think I'm doing something. I certainly am, it's better than nothing. And I'm working cardio, but I can go up with my knees. I just can't go down. And um, so the last couple of weeks, uh, several people in my personal life, my, my immediate family and my extended family and network of friends have told me about some serious health, serious health issues. Um, one of them uh, has prostate cancer. Uh, one of them was just diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Um, my wife's uh, stepmom uh, passed away in the last week or two in her mid seventies. Uh, on and on and on. Another another friend uh, is going to have to have lung transplants. And uh, all of a sudden, my knees, they don't seem, I got two good knees, you know, when you put it in perspective. So, um, what am I trying to say here? I'm at a stage where I don't want to do things that I don't feel good about. And if, if you're at a stage where you think you can retire or, or you just don't, feel good about what you're doing anymore. Pursue something that you do feel good about and don't view it as retiring or stepping down or taking a step back. View it as finding a new good opportunity, a new good knee. Uh, the senior center that I was at this week, uh, the lady that is running it, I won't use names or specific locations, but she's moving on to another position and her assistant is moving up and she's scared and you know, She's young and uh, she's scared that she's, you know, gonna let people down. And But there's other people 
that are towards the latter part of their careers where that job would be a piece of cake for them from a stress standpoint. Uh, and all I'm saying is that you don't have to stop working. You have to stop doing things that don't bring value or joy to you. And I, I'm finding it valuable to me to share these videos, no matter who's watching them, uh, and kind of confess this to the world. I am enjoying going out as a retired comic and doing events. We did an event, uh, the funny thing about caregivers at the Ocean City 50 plus senior center the other day. And it was, it was, it was funny. There were actually 25 or 30 people that had come for comedy, but there were also 25 or 30 people that were already there playing bridge and doing whatever they had gone there for that didn't realize comedy would be going on in the background. So it's kind of strange because there was one group there that was there to laugh and there was another group there that seemed to be there just to be <laughs> angry at the people that were laughing. Uh, it, it, it worked out and it was great fun. It was a great honor to do that. But uh, comparison is the thief of joy. Perspective is the gift of awareness. And um, I'm at that stage in my life where people talk to me about health issues and about uh, ask me if I'm gonna retire. And uh, I'm just blessed that I have the perspective now that I didn't have as a younger man where I can uh, realize that I've got two good knees <laughs> and going up is no problem. And uh, I'll figure out a way to go down uh, safely and in time. And um, so anyway, enjoy your life. Uh, let humor work. Humor is a healthy understanding of moments others recognize. And uh, everybody at that senior center was having a moment of their own. And the people that were there for humor got what they wanted, got what they had expected. At least I, I think I did okay. And the people that were there for bridge, they got a bonus, even if they don't know it. So uh, enjoy yourself. Uh, thanks for being here. Let humor work. Go get them.